All right, it's Chen Chen here. And for today's topic, we're going to talk about the importance of property management. When we come into Robert T. Kiyosaki, they target when you investing in real estate, they target actually you generate passive income. What we say passive income is you don't need to go and work yourself or little effort on it, but the money or the cash flow can automatically come into your pocket. That's what we call passive income. So when you come into investing in real estate, if you just own a couple of properties, which means that one or two units, maybe you can still handle it yourself. Let's say, for example, if you have owned, let's say, 200 units of property or 1,000 units of property, for this case, actually, you need property management. And you need to choose a right and a great property manager to help you, actually, and how you can go and choose it. So, because for the real estate value, actually, it's not depend by the asset itself, actually, it's by the value, how you can create to real estate, which means that you can rent to people so that you can increase your rental. It's by the value, how you produce the value. So, I think, let's start with the knowledge first, because what, like what Warren Buffett say, the more you learn, the more you earn. So, when coming to, you want to do real estate investing, and you want to hire a good property manager or property management company to help you actually you can came up with the knowledge first so you have a guideline how to go and select or how to go and work on it so actually a good property manager actually they know how to manage the three per three you mean income expensive and system when coming to income actually when you come into investing in real estate actually you need to treat your real estate investment like a business you mean that a great property manager they will help you to increase your income and not just about income or the rental you collect but the net operating income which means that the rental you get the income you get and then you must must reduce all the expenses so you get the net so they can handle it the net so how to generate the income from you is first is the rent then the occupancy is very important also because you need to have a good tenant and the good people that go and rent your property and is there any other revenue opportunity or not can add some value or anything else so let's say we talk about the rents when we talk about rent actually um, the value of the property is not based on the asset itself but rather on the financial performance which means that you need to get the cash flow much more how to generate the rental so that how you increase the value of property so that you can get a good rent that's more, more important and when we talk about net operating income actually that from this book actually have a formula you can go and look at it which means that the net operating income you divided by seven percent so that you get your value of property let's say for example if you target and want to go and choose the property mm, let's say for annual income you get 500k that's your annual income that you target you can get the passive income every month every month and then the annually is about 500k so you use 500k and then you did straight away divide by seven percent so your value of a property is 7.14 million which means that the value is there so when you look, go and look at you want to purchase anything property else so you can look at this figure and go and look at it this is the formula that from this book they, they, they're showing for you and the net operating income also will affect the value of property so it's vice versa when you go and look at it so after that the occupancy is very important also because when you come into you want to rent it out your property the people you rent for and are they a good people you need to do all the survey and the checking to any criminal backgrounds or not so the, a good property manager they, they will help you to do it first before you go and work it yourself and need to know that percentually they can pay the rental consistently and then they can long term rent from your property as well called open occupancy and when we talk about others revenue opportunity which means that is there any opportunity can increase the value or not whether for example if you say 
you just rent the property out but your tenant want some washing machine or they want any things that want they increase the value so you can just add on the washing machine but you can increase your rent rental so that you can generate high high cash flow for you and the next thing is expenses when we talk about expenses actually the a great property manager they will help you go and monitor your expenses because not just about the tenant but with the expenses if a good tenant they can care about your property so what about the management fee the payrolls utilities property tax a great property manager they will help you go and monetize all about this so you you don't go and do yourself all the accounting thing or everything else because the cost of not running and creating a report and criminal background check is very high eventually when you get burned this all this work actually is very important because everything you need to know your numbers and then not just about knowing numbers but you need to take care of the tenant which means that is a good tenant or, or not a good tenant so all these things the property manager will help you go and do it and after that is the system when a great property manager or a great property management company actually they have a system they can help you to go and manage all your expenses everything else your marketing how to target how to market your property so they have a system to follow for example it's like mcdonald's actually they have a great system to do all their hamburgers everything else they, how they operate their business so that way it cost system have a good system so um, when you want to how you can go and hire a great property management company or a great property manager so there's a few steps you can follow first is you can use your team member for your lawyers your network actually they can recommend it for you which one are the better one so the second you need to trust them but be verified first because <clears throat> you want to hire somebody you need to verify them which means actually they have experience or not. are they has experienced this expert so you need to know and verify them and you, you need to find the right and the fit property manager which means that if the property manager is expert in commercial and your unit is service department or you are the apartment company but you need to find which means the property manager which means is expert in service department or manage the apartment unit help you to go and manage it that's why so number four is you get what you pay for which means that you need to know you want what type of service and then you pay what type of price but you go and manage it so number five is money matters everything else before you go and hire a property manager you need to calculate your cost first is it sufficient for you so go and hire and maintain the property manager to help you do or not you need to know your cash flow everything else and then know your numbers first because before you move take any move so that's for today hope you can learn it and you can be useful see you